Well, this is the community of Calle Cunca. It belongs to the district of Kikijana. This is uh, an hour and 15 minutes south of Cusco city. Uh, the altitude is around 4,000 meters. Lanza This fireplace doesn't have a chimney. That's why every time they light it, you can expect to have the smoke inside the house. Normally, the, the women in this community uh, cook on uh, small mud stoves in the corner of their houses. They're open fire and there's no ventilation. Oh, I want to go out. <laughs> One of the main reasons why uh, we are building these stoves in the communities is because according to the Ministry of Health of uh, the Peruvian government, uh, they found out that most of these ladies, they had uh, lung diseases, even cancer in many cases. Also the children, they have eye infection, lung infection, and you know, the windpipes infected too because of the smoke inside the houses. So uh, the design of this stove, the idea is to keep them warm, they can cook, and uh, the smoke out of the house. So the, the stoves that we have built through ABW are all marked with a red chimney, and um, I think we covered almost everybody in the community except some people who just weren't able, we weren't able to get to them. Uh, this stove has three burners. The first two burners are for cooking, and the last burner in the back part is just to keep warm. The, the water or the food, whatever, whatever uh, the lady is cooking. One of the reasons that we chose this community is, is the very fact that it's remote. As you can see, you go along communities along the highway and most of these people have electricity and they have television and they have all the, the luxuries of the modern world. But places like this often don't get any attention because they are so far and they're hard to access. So that was the reason that we chose this. It's not easy to get here. You have to take usually a, a four by four. And drive through some, some really rough terrain on pretty scary territory. <laughs> the stoves are built locally with all local materials, local soil, local clay, local Andean grass, uh, cactus juice. Um, you know, basically is their, uh, their work to prepare the, the mix. <laughs> the lady is not coughing and you can see that her eyes are white and clean. You know, so she feels much better and also her children. Uh, I first came to Peru, uh, I was asked to come with another NGO um, as a, a nurse for the group and I was, felt really inspired at the living conditions and the resourcefulness of these people who were so friendly and welcoming to us. So uh, after returning back to Canada, I realized that I just didn't, didn't want that life anymore. So I came back to Peru for three weeks to see if I was sure realized that I had to change my life. So uh, that following year in September, I, I sold everything, packed up everything, and left my life in Canada. I met George. He was my translator. We started dating, and uh, from there, um, George had informed me that they, they had been working with an NGO that they were not really happy with because they felt like the aid was not getting to the people. It was taking too long. I met somebody from ABW in a conversation, a meeting we had uh, with another NGO. And uh, this person uh, asked me about the stove. So after a, a few months, uh, suddenly we had a whole group of, of people from ABW coming to, to see this place. Actually, they, they, they came to this community. They know this community. They're expecting us to return so we can uh, teach them how to uh, make the maintenance to the, to the stoves. Oh, a better world, well, is different than other NGOs, mainly because they stay involved. And it's, it's a relationship they're building with the community. It's not just come in and drop something and leave and expect them to, to change their lives. You know, this is a, a life-changing project. This is not the end of Kayakunka. We're going to stay here and keep visiting them and working with them and, and seeing what other needs may come along. They're very happy. Hola, maestro, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> They're very happy to, to have us here uh, working with them.